In today's video, I'm gonna be going through how I plan and prepare for music videos. So the first step is actually getting the song from the artist. And from here, I just listen to it over and over and over and over again in a variety of different environments because you never know when that idea is actually gonna pop into your head. I actually find being in different environments help because you're not in a mindset of thinking, ah, I have to think of an idea right now. You're, you're doing something random. And whilst listening to the song, you might just get an idea that could set up the rest of the video. And I think you hear a lot of people say you actually get your best ideas when you're not thinking about it. So I encourage you to listen to a song on a walk, on a run, on the toilet, making a coffee, anywhere, because you don't know what inspiration you're going to get from that moment. Then once I have a rough visualization of what I want the video to be, I actually hop onto my editing software in Premiere Pro. I put the song in the timeline and I just gradually add basic text titles along the timeline when I want things to happen in the song. For me, this is a really clear way of understanding what I want to put where. I mean, no images, no nothing, just short sentences of what I think can go in each section of that song. For me, this is a great way to visualize how the video is actually gonna play out and we can use it later on in the planning process. It's also a great way for the management or label or artist to understand what you want to go at each point in the song very clearly. Then I create a mood board around the initial ideas that I have. Any creative shots and angles that I think would work and slowly start building up a grade and color scheme. A great tool that I use, I use Milanote to plan all my projects. It's a great way to, to create mood boards, create shot lists, create storyboards, put the song actually into the document so you can listen to it at any point during the process. Milanote is something I've used for a while now and it's definitely the best software for pre-production. For me, it just keeps everything in one place and you can add Google Docs to it. You can and add literally anything you want to it. It's just a great virtual board that you can have and you can just put everything to do with that music video into it. I get my frames for the mood board from a website called Shot Deck. It's a great place to get frames from movies and commercials and other TV shows where you can literally type in anything you're thinking of and it will come up with all the examples of your search. Obviously, Shot Deck does come at a monthly price. So if you're not in a position to do that, then just go on YouTube and create a playlist of all the music videos that you actually really like and get inspired from and just take screenshots from them and put it into the mood board. I then start creating the shot list, figuring out what shots I exactly need and what order to get them in. For the shot list, I often refer back to the reference video and I actually sometimes add frames to this reference video to make it a little bit more clearer. I, I, I really strongly recommend you do create a reference video and match up what you want in the music video along with the song because it's a great way for other people to understand exactly what your vision is and obviously if you can support that with frames and sections from your mood board, that's also really gonna help the artist understand exactly what you want. And then again, in Milano, it's actually working out the legitimacy of this shoot. What locations you're gonna need, what equipment do you need, what team are you gonna build? You might not need a team, you might be doing it solo. This is when you can do your location scouts, you can look at studio hires. It's really working out where you're actually gonna put this video together and what location is gonna best represent your idea. And then it's on to production of the video. Once you have all your pre-production laid out, ready to go, it's time to shoot it. And one key thing I'm gonna say about production is that it won't go exactly like how you planned. It, it never will. And I think that's what's so great about shooting and, and doing productions and even music videos is you get to think on the fly, you get to piece a puzzle together as you go, essentially. Obviously having a, a great structure and a plan there is gonna help you structure the day really well and have a reference if things do go a bit pear shape. But I do love the creative aspect of music videos where something doesn't necessarily work and you get to think on the spot. And I often think that's when your best creative ideas come out is when you're put on the spot and you've really got to think outside the box of, okay, how can we actually make this work? Especially if you're on a set that's super fast paced, nothing is going to be one to one of your plan. Things are going to change a little bit and you need to be prepared for that to happen. Hopefully that's giving you a little insight on how I plan music videos. That's a very rough and streamlined process. Obviously, Planning takes hours and I would encourage you to put time into it because like I've said, with a really strong plan, you, you can create a really cool concept and over time you can build up those ideas instead of just doing it all in one evening. But obviously different people require different requirements. You might just need an hour of thinking, go out and smash a whole music video. Other people will need loads of time to plan. It really, you really got to work out what's best for you. But my one advice would create a reference video to the song and slowly structure out on the timings of, of what you actually want to happen at each point in the song. And that would be my biggest tip to you when planning music videos. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and got an insight on how I plan and create music videos. Let me know if you want me to do more of this sort of insightful content and I'll see you soon.